Right? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Shall we? So you know, I mean, the backstory is well documented on the internet. I've always, I've been bouncing between various laptops. It's uh, an important part of my my gadget kit. What are you doing over there, Will? <laughs> I'm trying to like figure out what he wants. I was mostly using the smaller ThinkPad X series laptops, but maybe I should pay more attention, put more time into the 15 inch model. You get the bigger screen, you can get graphics if you want. Since the last time I looked at a 15 inch ThinkPad, they came out with another one, a, a new X1 Extreme version two. If you look at the side of the box, it actually just, it says second, see? And the reason I'm interested in this model specifically is the fact that this one has an OLED display. Now, I know the audience is likely split on whether or not you think OLED makes any sense at all in a laptop. The beauty here with Lenovo is they let you customize four different screens on here, including three that are not OLED. So if you don't want that, you got plenty of 500 nit options. You're a big nit guy, right, Will? I like the nits. Bright OLED. Funny enough, the OLED display is actually 100 fewer nits than the IPS version. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, it's also 4K, it's multi-touch, and has Dolby Vision HDR 500. So this is the highest end display inside of this package of the bunch that you have options for. Now I have looked at an OLED laptop before, a gaming laptop from Razer, and I've been using that. If you've been watching Lou Later, the show downstairs, that's been on the desk for a couple of episodes. You get the extra screen real estate. Well, you know what you can do with that? Games? It's the box inside the box. So this one here is 135 watts. It packs in the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Max-Q 4GB. That's the graphics you're gonna get in this package. They give you a Type-C cable, a breakout ethernet cable, and they give you a pen. Check this out. Ooh, nice button. This is quite a robust metallic pen. And this is the type of thing gets Willie Do very excited when he sees the pen with the art background. That's Willie Do's origin story. It's his history. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. There you go. Get in there. There you are. If you're familiar with the look of a carbon fiber weave, it's kind of nice you get reminded of the actual construction when you look at the appearance on the outside of the lid. We have our power port as well as an LED light, couple of type C connectors with the Thunderbolt 3 icon as well. You have a full size HDMI port, networking breakout port for that cable I showed you earlier. You have a headphone jack. Ooh, an SD card built in, SD card slot, two typical standard old school USB ports and a locking section. I believe this is for a smart card over here. The speaker grills, you can see located on the bottom side, those are gonna reflect off the table. Of course, I'll test that out in a moment. And this is where the whole thing really happens, as far as I'm concerned. The keyboard, what happens on the inside over here? Trackpad is a fairly large size, of course, because it is uh, part of the ThinkPad series. For me, this is like thin and light, decent battery, What's the best display I can get on a laptop right now? What's the best keyboard I can, like this is sort of how I'm looking at it. And I like the versatility of ports as well. Again, from the workstation mindset mostly, that's the OLED and it's vibrant, it's obvious to me. I mean, there you go. So touch screen display also. I mean, this screen is blazing my retinas right now. It's the i9-9880H, 2.3 gigahertz. It will turbo up to, do they still call 8. it turbo? <laughs> they der. They they der. They der. <laughs> Derp. They sure der. They call it turbo boost. It, that's up to 4.8 gigahertz. 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. You have a one terabyte NVMe SSD. So this thing's obviously it's a beast, but it's important to note you do not need to spec out this second generation X1 Extreme up to four grand plus. This is like their top of the line. Top top. Like you could do a custom build with the OLED screen and some less heavy specs on the SSD and the RAM and probably save a few bucks that way if you choose to. Now let's go ahead and test the speakers real quick. I imagine that if they can bring it in at this rumored $399 price point, that's just gonna be an aggressive price point. So if Ming-Chi is right on that, now you have a play in other markets, India and so forth. They want that Apple logo but they don't want the Apple price tag. And we all know the Apple price tag is well established at this point. So some other specs here, 
When have our videos ever looked this bright on a laptop screen, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Look at the contrast in that image. Holy moly. I mean, there you have it. That's really, at least for me, that's the killer functionality. That's the, that's the item that kind of gets me excited at this point in laptops. I had this experience with OLED on televisions where you look at it and you're like, man, that is, that's different. That's advanced. That's a, that's the new tech. And it's a matter of time for it to bubble down, bubble, usually things bubble up, simmer down, simmer down into the lower price points. More people can adopt the new tech. I think the same thing will take place in laptops. We might not be there yet, but you guys should know what the fringe is looking like for that potential future in which accessibility to these types of technology improves through cost and so forth. For now, OLED's gonna remain at that top tier level. These displays are tougher to make. Smaller ones, they figured it out, obviously with smartphones, because they, hit, they can hit that volume figure. But still, in the case of Apple, well, you have the main iPhone 11, the big volume model is not gonna be an OLED model mm. currently, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the model that's moving. So you can see even in Apple's case, getting the cost of OLED into the place where most people wanna pay, even on smartphones where they're much easier to cultivate in the, in the small form factors. The bigger the OLED gets, the tougher they are to make is my limited understanding of how these things are developed. So TVs still have that heavy price tag as well associated with them. Laptops are gonna be in the same boat for a while, but for those that are on the privileged end of the spectrum in terms of their potential laptop options, this is gonna be, that's a feast for the eyeballs, Willie Do. You don't even understand. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, feast your eyeballs, Willie Do. It's feasting. Feast them!